This is Sarah Holmquist reporting for Acoustic Bulletin at Ecophone International Acoustician Seminar in Borstad 2011. I'm standing here with Shastan Passon Way, active at Gothenburg University in Sweden. Could you tell us a little bit of your line of work there? Um, well, my special interest is in human response to sound and sound characteristics. and. Um, at the moment, we're doing research into preschool environments and uh, looking at children and personnel are affected. Uh, also affected by uh, when you change the room acoustics to see whether they perceive the sound environment as more pleasant or less pleasant and whether they feel better in this kind of sound environment. Uh, we're also doing studies in uh, hospitals, also in intensive care units. Also there, uh, investigating what happens when we do changes in the uh, physical interior of the ward, what happens with the sound, but also what happens with human behaviour when they are in that room, and also what happens with uh, patients in their response. Do their heart rate go down, do they, the oxygen rate go up and so on. What brought you here to AS? This year? Uh, well, I was uh, very happy to be invited to talk, and uh, as I have this uh, focus on human response, I thought it was my mission to stress the point of uh, human perception and reaction in order to, to achieve this optimum uh, sound environment or room acoustics. You, you do research in various uh, <laughs> areas of life, really, school, uh, hospitals, everywhere. What are the conclusions? Of uh, what, what do you, what are, you, you know, what have you, <laughs> what conclusions have you made so far about s sound environment and and uh, human response? Uh, well, <coughs> we have over the years been studying, as you say, uh, different environments, and but we can see some common uh, um, pattern. And the one of the patterns that we see is that uh, human perception is very strong to modulated sound, like uh, temporally, uh, rhythmically temporally varying sounds. Um, we can also see that um, s specific sound characteristics that are more of a high frequency type, uh, that are more a result of interaction between various materials, uh, are perceived, especially by children, as uh, uh, physically, emotionally painful. Um, and whether that is uh, very much related to children or whether we can also see that in adult, uh, I don't know yet. Um, what we um, can also see or what we are actually investigating is whether certain characteristics in the alarm signals in the intensive care wards would be ex uh, especially uh, disturbing for sleep and uh, rest. Is there ev evidence suggesting this? Y uh, yes, there are some evidence suggesting that, yeah. Mm. So when, when are you hoping to, to uh <laughs> find out more about this particular? Well, uh, everything is ongoing, uh, but uh, some of the results will should be published, uh, uh, should be submitted this autumn, so we'll probably see the results next year. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for uh, taking your time out of a coffee break to come and speak to us. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference. I'm sure I will. Yeah.